Lenny, buddy, are you gonna come eat? What the freak? Dude, stop! Stop! What the heck, dude? What is wrong with you? Stop it! Are you okay over here? I'm coming down to get your food so you can eat. I know. I know, I'm hoping the food will take your attention away from, well, this little mess we got going on here. Let me come around there, Tex. I'll get your morning started so you can be happier. You know, today I don't really have a lot of work to do, but it always makes it hard to work whenever it's raining. So it's actually not raining right now. It just stopped like the second that I stepped in this barn. Of course, it would stop raining, so I can't show you. But that makes, it doesn't really create a problem for me working. You know, it's not a big deal if I get a little bit wet, okay? It's, it's not a problem. The problem is, if this phone gets wet, it no longer works. It's not like it can work in the rain. It does not work in the rain, and if it does, it's not gonna work later. So I have to come up with a little idea. I have an idea of what I'm gonna do to keep my phone safe, but still allow me to record and still allow me to work. Now, yeah, this might, this might be what you would call rigging something. That's okay. I rig stuff all the time and it works. It might not work for long, but it serves a purpose and it gets the job done. Let me show y'all what I'm gonna do. Okay, look, I don't want anybody judging me for what I'm about to do. I did have to go take my mom's umbrella. Okay, so we got an umbrella here. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to duct tape this baby right here. That way, no matter where I go, my phone can stay dry. I will have an area where I can run to and seek cover. Now, it's not going to look pretty on my tripod, but it'll work. And I guess another thing is I can't really lose my tripod at this point. I will always know where it is. Everything will still collapse back down to size. I think this is one of the greatest ideas I've ever come up with. All right, there we have it. This might be one of the greatest ideas I've ever come up with. I guess I took too long putting together this tripod because now Carl's irritated. He's like, hey, you still got to feed us over here. Tex is like, hey, you said just a moment ago that you were going to hurry up and bring my food. And now you're standing over there playing with an umbrella when it's not even raining anymore. You know, seriously, that's the bad part, is I did all this stuff, and now it's not even raining anymore. So I think I just wasted about 10 minutes. Okay, maybe this isn't going to work after all. I didn't think about this. One gust of wind came by, and this thing went crashing down to the ground. I guess I did a pretty good duct tape job, though, because that didn't break. That's fine. I'll just take my chances. I'll just try to hurry and get done before the rain comes back anyway. Hey, I got y'all's food. But, uh, where's Carl? Because I'm not coming in there until I know where Carl is. I know you're trying to come break my phone. Oh, goodness. Good morning. Yes, you're very sleepy. No, sweetheart, I'm sorry, but I need my phone. But I just need to know where Carl is. I don't need you so close. I just need you to go show me where Carl is. All right. I'm coming in. I'm coming in. If you think it's safe, I'm coming in. Back up. Back up. I'm coming. Excuse me. Hey, back up, girl. I got to come in here. This ain't funny because if I don't know where Carl is and he comes out and gets me, you're gonna blame yourself. You're gonna blame yourself for that and you're not gonna feel good about it. Okay. I found Carl. He doesn't know we're here. Let's get the food out.
So I just now got Carl fed. I got their food out there. And I review the footage. And this girl right here did nothing but go over there and take out my phone and knock it on the ground. Carl, do y'all not like being on camera? Is that the problem? That's not very nice. That's not very nice, Debbie. I think y'all are beautiful and I'm trying to record you. And now, to make matters worse, the rain is back. I know y'all can see this. All right then, thank you Carl. If you're so happy, then go eat your breakfast and leave me alone. I don't know why you're being so strange today. Go eat Carl. Carl, go eat, whoa, Carl, Carl, just go eat your food, Carl. I'm gonna pet you, I'm gonna pet you. Ha, ah, I got you. Let me pet you, Carl. Let me, oh boy, he does not like that for sure. I'm going to play with the littles. So it's okay to feed grains in the rain, but they're not going to last very long, okay? So today the littles are going to get a special treat. They've never gotten this before, but today that's going to change. Hey, stop it. Stop it. I'm trying to talk about my plan. I have big plans and y'all are interrupting them. All right, let's get moving here. I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to do. The littles are hunkered down in the shelter, and that's perfect, because that's where I'm going. Oh, hey, come on, littles! This way y'all don't have to get out in the rain. mess with the empty bucket than their feed that's clearly right in front of them but that's fine eventually i'm sure annie and ernie will make their way in here but now i'm stuck i'm stuck in here now hey y'all get out of here i got stuff to do lenny buddy are you gonna come eat what the freak dude stop stop what the heck dude what is wrong with you stop it Go away! Oh my god! What the heck just happened? He bit the heck out of me! Go out of here! Stop! You're like majorly aggressive! Like I've never seen y'all do that before! That's nuts! Go! Don't do it again! I'm serious! Oh shoot! Stop! Hey! Do you see this? I'm gonna grab you! I'm gonna grab... Never mind, I'm just gonna run. Look, yeah, go in that bucket. Go in that bucket. Leave me alone. What the heck, dude? I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Okay, good job. Ha ha ha. You got me. I'm glad you're not like those geese. They're bad. Give me a big bump. You don't got to get up. You're soaking wet, though, Tina. Oh, give me a little big bump to start the day. Please. That's not nice, Tina. I'm at least going to pet you. I'm going to pet you, Tina. Tina, you did not let me pet you very much. I barely touched you. I've missed you, Tina. Tina! Okay, Wanda. Wanda will let me pet her. We have a special bond. Isn't that right, Wanda? We have a special bond. Wanda, I'm done. I'm done with these birds today for sure. You decided to show up for work today, Pablo? Well, thank you. I appreciate that. But we got further back to go, buddy. It's morning time, which means we go back there. We don't get to just stand here. Where, where are you going? Are you coming with me or are you going home? All right, come on, Pablo. It's starting to rain again. We got to get out of here. Hey, 
Alex. I'm not here to chase you. I'm not here to wrangle you. I'm not here to do anything but feed you, okay? So, remain calm. No, it's not a fighting day. It's not a fighting day, Tex. How about that? Isn't that crazy? And I'm just gonna let you stay out here. You're like, wait a minute. What are you doing? You're supposed to chase me back into the other field. No, Tex, not anymore. And I love it. I love that I don't have to chase you around. All right, enjoy your food. I gotta go see Moo. But the problem is, I don't see Moo. I see three horses and three donkeys. So, oh no, 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 okay. We got all four donkeys. So we're missing Grace, Pearl, Santana and Moo. Do you know where they are, Tex? All right, then I'll find them myself. Are you guys hungry? Well, here's the problem. There's all kind of knots tied on here. And I think there should be an easy strand to pull. And it'll come off. I um, just don't know what strand that could be. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. No, I need y'all, y'all stand back there. So I'm actually going to open the gate and come on through. Um, if y'all could back up a little. I'm going to go ahead and grab the bucket. So that way, whenever I go through here, I don't have to try to get the four-wheeler through and everything. All the longhorns are back there working. Moose back there working. So I'm going to go ahead and just feed these guys and let them stay back there and work. Hey, back up. Back up. Please. I don't guess it's really a big deal if y'all come in here. I would just prefer it if y'all stay out there. I said I would prefer it if y'all stay out there and work. Why are y'all doing this? Hey, stay out there and work. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, you know what? Let's not work today. I mean, uh, hey, 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 hey. Stop it. Go now. No. You done, you done made me mad today. Go. I'm not joking. You're not doing that biting mess. Go. 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 I shouldn't even let you eat. I should go put you in there by yourself. What you're doing is not okay. You understand me? Stop it. Stop it. Go. Go. You done made me mad. You made me mad today. I don't even want to deal with you. Come on. You're going out here by yourself. Come on, Voodoo. Come on, Voodoo. Don't be a bully. Come on. That dang horse. That made me so mad. Seeing Voodoo do that. All right. Let me get the snacks out. Oh, my gosh. Hey, Donkey Dan was eating that. Let me get their food out. Go back up there and I'm gonna actually tell y'all what actual work I have to do. Yeah, I might call feeding work, but this is just more of a necessity, it's not really a chore. I'm gonna go ahead and leave Voodoo alone here. I'm gonna get everybody else out. Come on, go, let's go. Let's go, we're not doing this stuff with Voodoo today. We're teaching them a lesson. We're teaching them a lesson. Come on, go, go Buckies. Go, Buckies. We're not dealing with voodoo. Okay, well, don't let them be mean to you, Buckies. If you two have made up that fast, then, you know, that's just something y'all have done. That's good. That's. Hey, quit turning towards me. Thank you. All right. I'm going to get this gate shut, get back up to the house, and we'll start with the real jobs for today. So today I got to put out four rolls of hay and put hay nets on two of them for text. Cut the strings and everything off the other ones for the bigs and the littles. But look at what this little problem I got going on here. I don't really know what to do about this. So the hay, the old hay net, I don't know how to take it off because it has hay, obviously, you know, sitting on top of it. So what I'm going to try to do is hook it on to the four-wheeler here like I've done. But as you can see, whenever I pull it, it just moves. It just moved in a perfect circle away from its original spot. So like, do I need to go and just like sling it off of there or what do I need to do here? I'm going to try out something, I guess, and just hope that it works. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh. It actually worked. I am 
two for two on my ideas today. I'm telling you what, this is a good day for me. My plans don't ever work like this. the strings cut off of this get the hay net put on and then i got three more to put out here and i gotta put a hay net on one more that's gonna go over here in texas pasture we really want the nets on anywhere that tex can access hay because he's the main one that's gonna be tearing it up you know getting it stuck on his horns and stuff like that no one else really has that issue and i'm glad i got my supervisor out here oh pablo just laying here making sure everything's fine good job pablo <laughs> okay i'm getting it i can't go much faster over here golly this is going to be a major problem. I hadn't quite got the hay net on. No, Tex, oh gosh. Oh my gosh, if I don't get this on before he starts doing Tex things, I'm gonna be in, no Tex, no, 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 no. Let go of the net, go, go, go Tex, go Tex. You're not gonna take off this net before I get it on there. We're gonna have <laughs> string you think string is bad? Imagine a whole net hanging off his head. That would be a rough day. Okay, I went ahead and kept the net on this one. A little bit different than the last time we did it. The last time I actually did, I rolled it and then clamped it all the way around the bale of hay. But then you saw that whenever I tried to take it off, it wouldn't come off and I had to try to pull it with the four-wheeler and try to sling it off of there. This time, if it works properly this way, I didn't read any directions, but if it works, this will be a lot better because whenever the hay is worn down and time to be, you know, replaced with a new bell and I take off the net, hopefully I can just lift it off the top and not have to do all that dragging stuff. So this is good. I got three more bells to put out, but I'm not going to record the same thing over and over and over. So if something funny happens, I'll be back. Excuse me, Tex. It would not be funny if you tried to get me right there. All right, I got work to do. You stay over here. All right, I was driving past the pond and I see this piece of paper, or whatever it is, out of a box or something. You know, it'd probably be pretty easy just to kind of step off in there and grab it, but I am not. I am not gonna get my shoes wet out here today. So I have a better idea. how you pick up trash farm style right there that's good stuff all right i got two hay bales left to put out i'm trying to decide what one should go to the littles and what one should go to the bigs now they look the exact same yeah this one definitely doesn't need to go to the littles well that didn't take long 
is a brand new bale of hay. I just set it out, cut off the strings, and he has pushed it from there to here, and it's about a quarter of the size that it was. He is just unrolling the entire thing. Tex, hey, this doesn't have a net on it. I wonder if the middle of the hay is better. That's why he does this. He just, he's torn it to pieces here. I don't even think at this point that it's worth putting a hay net on. It's just, it's just a mess. That's just what it is. Okay, Tex, well, you can have this one all to yourself. I'm sure everyone else will go up to the one with a net on it. Why did you do this? Oh, I love you, Tex, but sometimes you cause a lot of problems for me. Do you know that? Are you aware? Seriously, I mean, you're a cool guy and all, but this hay bale, this is ridiculous. I'm going to roll it back up, and you're not going to do this again. All right, this is always a problem, trying to get the hay in there to the littles. So what I'm going to do... I got this scoop of goldfish. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna put it right here. Just one scoop right there. Everyone's gonna run over. And that way, whenever I open the gate, they, the gate's gonna open this way and kind of create a little wall. Just enough for me to drive in there, drop off the hay, and back out. Hopefully before anybody escapes. been a day i've just come up with all kind of stuff some of it didn't go very well most of it though worked out perfectly and that's not a thing that i get to say all the time copper good morning copper what are you doing you didn't come out and eat snacks this morning but you're gonna go eat some hay oh you smelt the goldfish come on come eat some goldfish buddy all right then i'll just love you i'll just love you for a moment then Ringo's coming. Ringo's coming, Copper. Bye, guys. Have a great day. Ringo. Like and subscribe.